probably beat low one like two or three months ago at our tournament, so yeah. I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility yeah, for I mean, him to take a game. He's only been getting better since then. Yeah. And he beat Meek very convincingly, so. Yeah. Gushi, you have the nicest, nicest waiting room music. That oh. Wi-Fi waiting on the Wii. So you got uh, Raigo playing Hosalina and Luma. Mm -hmm. As is tradition. Daybreak playing Falco, as is also tradition. Um, I think they're gonna strike Smashville. Probably end up on FD or Battlefield. Yeah, I don't think uh, Daybreak would let him take him to uh, Town and City anytime soon. Yeah. So <laughs> good luck landing. <laughs> Oh yeah, also another upset. Wait, landing's an option on that stage? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention another upset, uh, TDT over Aethan. Jeez, this tournament. It's crazy. Right, better so be glad you're watching, because right. So right now, game yep. one. We got Ray versus uh, Daybreak, and uh, yep. nice job shielding that Luma. Yeah, Daybreak immediately taking control of stage here. And that's, that's pretty much what you want to do, you just can't like, let her land. Yeah. Ooh, wow. nice up smash. He, he read that uh, Ray wasn't going to attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been doing a pretty good job of just keeping control of the center stage, and even when he loses it, he's able to get back in there fairly quick. Yeah. But then Ray See, right you now. Like, yeah, land, even percent. Oh, good use of the side B to get out of that situation. Cool. I'm liking Daybreak's use of forward air. It's such a good multi hitting move. I think yeah. it has like six. Uh, hitboxes to it on each one. Yeah, I mean, that Nair is just ridiculous. And on top of that, if he starts using yeah. the fair, he can mix it up because that has a hitbox when it lands. And now he has until about six or seven seconds to get as much damage as he can before Luma comes back. Yeah, but that's so. the problem with Ray because he changes up his play style so much once Luma's gone. Yeah. It's like it's somewhere between a campy Rosa and a slightly aggressive Rosa because right. he's just not afraid to go in there and try and grab you because uh, grabs gives you that extra bit of time. They were getting a little bit fishy there, you know, trying to get the F smash and now he's gonna have another about yep. six seconds to get as much damage as he can. Yep. Or nope, going back immediately. And, uh, yeah, it's always tricky trying to figure out whether you need to shield or nice job reading Ooh. that up smash. I don't I don't believe Daybreak wanted to go above. I think he wanted to go for the ledge. Yeah. But he just spaced it incorrectly. Yeah, though I mean once Rose has got your number, it's really hard to think. Oh, he had the way oh, nice first, too. Oh, back air. That nearly kicked. Jesus. Yep. That frame four back air, though. There we nice go. Getting the down smash Good without taking a second, uh, you know, any damage at all. Yeah. That's uh, what you want to do against Rosalina and Luma. If you're close enough to the ledge, odds are they might throw out an attack. So if you shield it, you should have enough time to go down there and either throw out a bear or a fair or some sort of gimping right. option. Or if you're, any of your smash attacks can reach below the ledge, yep. go ahead and use it. But uh, Ray just running away with this lead. Jesus. Uh, hey, Falco may prefer the air, but that's Rosalina's home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, see, now Daybreak is just throwing out too many moves at once. I, yeah. I want to see him play patient like how he was doing first stock. Yeah, I mean, the last thing you want to do is just get over aggressive against Rosalina and Luma and overextend because right. if she can open you up, get you up in the air above her, it's not going to end well. Right. A pair? Nice. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. Both going. Oh no! This is looking bad. Oh, oh that was so close. Lucky, yeah. He has like another three seconds before the yep. comes back. Yep. Rosalina with one of the most fun bop oh. animations in the game for the pummel. Yeah, yep. it's just pretty free. That's about right. I yeah. wonder if we're gonna see a switch to Cloud possibly. I mean, I wouldn't blame him honestly because the spaces against Rosa on stage they can do a decent job of holding their own, but once they're off the stage, game over. Yeah. And uh, I, th I'm, I think Ray would ban Town and City because I know he doesn't mind going to uh, Lilat. So hmm. <laughs> you see Ray thinking right there. Yeah. Ugh. It's been a crazy tournament today. I know. I'm I'm looking forward to the Olympic side event though. Yeah, that'll be nice. Wishing I could have made it a little bit further, but yeah, that's you know, runes and everybody has you know, their ups and downs you. for tournaments. Yeah. So. I mean, hey, I did better than the last time I came here. Yeah, so that's that's good. Broke the curse a little bit. Yeah. I think Daybreak's going to run it back to Battlefield. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't blame him. He did extremely well, so. Yeah, I mean, if he can just avoid 
getting above Rosa, which stems from not being overly aggressive and spacing himself right, like how he spaced himself to get rid of that Luma, right. then he should be fine. And I believe Luma can, uh, can tank up to 52 or 53 damage. Oh, oh that was okay. so ballsy. That would have been so amazing if he pulled that off. Yeah. Nice order, Luma. Oh, yeah. Luma not being able to get him out right in time. Oh, no, offstage. That nice tech. Yeah, he needed that to stay alive. Oh, nice wow. tech again. That was Awareness point blank. Break. Yeah. He realized that he he was going to get stage spike either way, so he died into the stage attack. Yeah. And, uh, man. Daybreak still with a with percent lead. He's not showing any fear in this matchup. Yeah, that's exactly what you need to do. You can't give Luma, I mean, Rosa, uh, room to breathe. I mean, this is impressive coming from Daybreak. Nice to be back here. Not enough to kill, though. Yeah. But we're getting close. <laughs> Tried to shoot off the Luma there, but. Back here uh, at one of the platforms should kill right now. Yep. Uh oh. No jump here. Ooh, just underneath that down tilt. Ooh, a little bit of a risky recovery. Yep, speaking of risky recoveries. Oh, no. I, I mean, th I think he had he thought he had a jump. Yeah. Well, even still, there was no way he was coming back at that point. Yeah, Ray would have got in with the down air on him. Yep. Oh my god, the Luma. Luma jab. <laughs> Luma, please. Oh my god, Rosa. Up air again? Yep. See, Daybreak's getting scared now. He's. Yep. I mean, honestly, I can't blame him because. Ooh, I like the mix-up option, yeah, but, but you gotta space that better when you know Luma can be distanced away. Yep. Uh, Ray not DIing that completely correctly to avoid the. Uh, see, oh, almost gotta, had it. If he had thrown out a backer or something with a longer-lasting hitbox yeah. like a forward air, I think that would have connected. And pop goes Luma. <laughs> oh, oh a nice ball jump to back air. Beautiful. Uh, he Fine. does have a mountain to climb. Yep. But uh, hey, one stock at a time. Yep. Ooh, getting perfect spacing to go under that down tilt there. I'd like to see try Daybreak try and mix uh, mix up his movements with Reflector more. Mm -hmm. Just uh, wall uh, Luma out. Yeah, like that right there. Yeah. Because it, unlike Foxes, it actually extends out in front of him, so he can use that to create a little buffer in front of him. Yeah, artificial hitbox. Uh oh. He should be good. Should he? Oh, nope. Yeah. No. Uh, so frustrating when you're off stage against her. Yep. Need somebody to be shooting start.